Howdy folks and welcome back to Pool School. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you a very inexpensive and easy way to repair your pool net or leaf rake, if you will, so you don't have to spend a ton of money replacing it. So what do you say we get to it? Alrighty, before we get started, I wanna thank you once again for watching this video. Remind you to like it if you do, subscribe to this channel if you've not done so already, and please share this channel with everyone you know who owns a pool. Also, don't forget to check out my website, poolschooler.com it'll come across the screen right here poolschooler.com it is full of more exclusive members only content that will help you save even more servicing your pool yourself okay so this is my pool net and again this is a gator and um, these are called leaf rakes they have the bigger net in the bottom I would not suggest using one of those uh, skimmer nets that just is a, is a big round flat thing that has a really tight net to it those are kind of worthless you need something that can catch some stuff and hold it so this is mine I'll put a link to where you can get one of these if you want to but here's the deal these are not cheap these things retail for about 55 to 60 dollars online so they are so rather than spend a bunch of more money replacing this one or buying a new net because you can get a new net for this but the problem is you have to take off this green frame okay and if you notice all these little these little uh, slices here. That's how you remove this 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 frame. The problem is that these frames over time they're made out of plastic, so eventually they get a little brittle because of the the uh, corrosive chlorine and chemicals and all that, and just weather. And when you try to take this off to replace the net, a lot of times you break this or crack this, and then you have to have to end up having to replace this too. The next thing you know, you spend all this time and extra money on buying this and a net, and you might as well have just bought a new net altogether. But so that you don't have to buy a whole new net, I'm gonna show you how to repair a tear in your net. Now, if you notice, I've got a tear in this net. Let me, let me see if we can see it. It's right here. Let's see my finger come through it, right here. There's the tear, okay? See that tear? I'm gonna kinda of get it more visible. Okay, so that's the tear in the net. And that's what we're gonna replace. So I'm gonna show you the tools and things that you're gonna to need to repair it. It's very simple and it'll save you a bunch of money. It'll dramatically extend the life of this product so that you don't have to go spend a ton of money. And that's the whole point of this channel, is to save you money servicing your pool yourself. Okay, so let's check out what you need. Okay, so here are the things that you'll need to do this, okay? The first thing is a tube of Loctite, sorry, Loctite Power Grab all-purpose adhesive. This is waterproof, and it's important that you get it waterproof because it's not waterproof, and then you know, you do this and you put your net in the water, it's gonna fall apart, okay? Or that, that your bond is gonna come apart. So make sure it's waterproof, all right? Make sure it's easy to clean up, okay? But this is the one that I use, Loctite, okay? You're gonna need a couple pieces of cardboard, okay? A couple pieces of cardboard, and either some newspaper or paper towel. Then you're also gonna need, and I'm gonna bend down and get this for you, Something heavy, something like a brick. This is all I had at my disposal. This is going to help hold it down while the, while the glue is, the adhesive is drying. So that's what I'm gonna do, okay? All right, so first thing you're gonna do is you are going to identify your tear, all right? So again, we've identified the tear in my net, all right? It's right here. And again, if it's on the seam, it's actually easier. But mine is right kind of in the middle of the net, all right? And that all came from Dragging it across, I actually netted out a pool and it had a bunch of orange uh, trees and some of the tree branches are have spikes on them and it sliced my net, so yay fun. Okay, so I'm gonna replace, I'm gonna repair that little slit right there. Very simple to do. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is get a piece of cardboard and I'm gonna put it in between the net and the surface that I'm gonna bond to, okay? So again, this, because I don't wanna have this glued to the surface that I'm gonna, Sitting on my workbench, I'm gonna put it like this. It's a little tricky to maneuver this, but all I need to do is get it like this. And again, the weight of the the, the, um, the brick or whatever I'm using will hold that together. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece right here and I'm just gonna overlap it like that, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the adhesive about, an, about a half an inch further on each side of the slit and I'm gonna apply it here to the mesh and then I'm gonna fold it over like this and apply it to that, okay? So let's do that really quick. Okay, so I have applied the glue or the adhesive to that area. Notice it's on the top of the seam and I'm gonna fold that over and then the bottom of the tear and it's going further than the tear itself. Now what I'm gonna do, and I got it again because I'm using this foam with one hand, I'm gonna have to do this on my own. I'm gonna basically fold this over and push it together. Notice I'm wearing a pair of gloves just because it just protects my hands from getting all that grip. But I'm just gonna kind of smear that in there and just seal it. It's not gonna be super gorgeous. I'm gonna have a little seam there, but I'd rather do that than again, spend a bunch of money 
buying a brand new net when I don't need to, okay? So I'm just kind of putting it on there. Now again, I'm gonna have a little seam there, but that's okay, I don't mind that, all right? Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna position this in where I can get this on a flat surface, and I'm gonna take a piece of cardboard with a piece of the paper towel, we'll put the paper towel over it, put the cardboard on top of it, and then put the brick or the rock on top of that to hold it together while it's drying. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. Okay, so I have the paper towel on top of the net so that again, when I peel that off, I can just peel the paper towel off and it's okay, the paper towel just kind of sticks little pieces to it. But rather than have my workbench stick to it, I'm doing that. You could have put a paper towel underneath between the cardboard and the, the bottom side of the net where you're gluing, but I really don't need to do that. I don't mind if I peel, leave a little cardboard on there because like I said, it'll come off in water eventually. Then put the piece of cardboard on top of the paper towel or newspaper, and then I set this in such a way that it creates pressure down on that area that I've glued. I did a little bit of finagling to make it work, but like I said, when you're talking about spending 55 to $65, $60 on a brand new net, this is a really cheap way, you can, but for 10 bucks you can fix your net and it'll last for another season. So we're gonna come back in a couple hours, see how it looks. Okay, so I already removed the big paver so I didn't have to do this with two hands. I didn't have to use two hands. So the cardboard was on top. Remember there was a cardboard in between and there was this. So this is a cardboard in between. You notice it's kind of glued together right now. That's totally okay. Um, I just kind of peel this off and I don't mind if all this stuck because when it gets in the water, it's gonna come off. So the one thing I didn't want to do is have the, this stuck to this part. So this is this is glued. I'm gonna peel this off. Obviously, it's gonna take some of the cardboard with it. If you wanted to, you could actually have put an extra piece of paper towel in there between the cardboard to prevent that from happening. But we pull that out, and you noticed a little bit of cardboard there still, okay? But again, I'm not really worried about that. Let's peel what's off there, and that'll eventually start to deteriorate when it gets in the water and it'll come off. Anyway, but let's see how that worked. It's pretty solid, okay? And again, it's not the most beautiful thing in the world. It's got a little seam there now, or a little fold over. But remember the goal of this is not to have this gorgeous, brand new, spanking looking new net. It's to extend the life of your net so you don't have to go and spend an extra 55 or $60 every time you get a little tear in your net. So that, if you notice, works really, really good. Again, just make sure that you put something in between the net on one side and the bottom part of the net on the other side so that you don't get anything stuck there. So that's really it. Pretty easy, and I'd say that was a success. Okay, folks, so there you have it. That is my video on how to repair very cheaply and easily a pool net, preferably a leaf rake, uh, using, again, the Loctite all-purpose adhesive to make sure it's waterproof. Um, I hope it was helpful. Um, again, saves you a little bit of money from not having to go and buy a brand new net, okay? Um, I hope it made sense. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below this video, or as always, you can email me directly. My email address will come across the bottom of the screen. It is Kenny poolschool at gmail.com. Once again, Kenny, poolschool at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check out my membership website, poolschooler.com. And until we meet again, remember, have fun, be safe, and always watch those kids and elderly folk and pets around water. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.